You're listening to From Our Lens, a podcast for photographers and brides where we dive into all things weddings. Whether you're a pro behind the lens or a bride to be, we've got you covered. Join in on the conversation and take it from the gals who have been to a wedding or two. Grab your camera or your wedding planner and tune in for our hot wedding takes. Let's focus on your forever. Hello, good morning. If it's the morning while you're listening, good afternoon. If it's the afternoon that you're listening, good evening. Hi. Hello, hello. Welcome back. How is everybody? How's Sarah? Oh, good. How are you, Jordan? I'm great. I'm so good. Yeah. Good, good. I want, before we get into it, I have to introduce, we have some news that we didn't share with any, well, yeah, we didn't share with anybody. It's brand new. Um, We have a new co-host on the pod. She's here with me. I think you guys are really going to like her. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Her name is Roan. Roan, say hi. Say meow. No, she's not going to do it. (laughs) This is Roan. She is the new queen of my studio. Yes. And Roan has quite a dramatic origin story. (laughs) Yes, she does. And it involves both of us. (laughs) So. So Jordan, how, where do we start? I've wanted a cat, but I wanted to like, cats just fall into your life, right? They just, it just, it just happens. She's literally sleeping on me. Anyways. You can't go and like buy a cat. You need to let the cat come No, you have to like rescue them. So I've just been waiting. And then all of a sudden, Sarah Snapchats me. I was like, Jordan, I found you a kitten. (laughs) She's like, I'm on my way to rescue a cat. I was like, stop, stop right now. Send me pics right so now. So my boyfriend was working and he was in like a, I don't know, a well or something. And he hears the screaming and he's like, what the heck is that? And then he sees this kitten run up to him and being the softy that he is, he FaceTimes me and he's like, Sarah, what do I do? Like, what do I do with this cat? I was like, I don't know. Like, is there other ones? Was it by itself? And he's like, look, it got attacked. So Roan's face was all like scratched up. She had like a big cut on her lip and she obviously had just been attacked. Yeah. So he was like, I can't leave this cat. She's like injured. So he was like, will you come and meet me and come take this cat? So I get in my car, drive out to wherever he is. I take this cat in, take it to the vet. The cat's fine. It's just like... Like, you know, it was, she was starving and dehydrated and she was a little beaten up, but yeah, we were very close to almost wanting to keep her, but my boyfriend's allergic. So wouldn't have been a good situation, but Jordan was like, this is meant to be my kitten. (laughs) Thankfully, I'm not allergic. (laughs) So I literally drove, I was in the city and I like drove halfway to Sarah and she drove halfway to me and I picked her up and brought her home. I've had her for like a week now. Yeah. It literally worked out completely perfect. And she's the sweetest little kitten. Is her face looking better? Oh yeah. She's all cleaned up. up. So good. Hey, Ron. Oh, you cutie. She's going to like sleep on me. getting excited now because I'm using the baby (laughs) voice. (laughs) Oh my God. Honestly, she like... She's been ripping around. She's living her Aww. best life. She's the queen of the studio, honestly. Yeah. Sweet yeah. baby. Yeah. No, it was, Ugh. it's just like the funniest little story. And yeah, Jordan just happened to be in like in Edmonton two hours away. And I was like, okay, let's meet halfway mm-hmm. and pass off this cat. So oh, he passed her off on good. like the side of the road. <laughs> yeah. We were in a wheat field pretty much. And <laughs> yeah, pawned her off. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, she's so cute. She matches the aesthetic, too. <laughs> she honestly does. <laughs> she honestly does. Okay, do you want to go? Aww. Should I let you go? Okay. I yeah, her eye go. looks so much better. Before, it yeah. was like, she had it, like, there was a scratch above her eye, and her eye was, like, all closed in. She was, no, like, like, a rough-looking kitten for a bit there, but. I, she has scars. Oh, she's, like, laying right beside me. Aww. She loves that. She loves the podcast already. It's meant to yeah. be. Love her. Love her. Yeah. So, we are both still in the depths of fall and fall sessions Mm -hmm. and I've been rescheduling like crazy because the weather has been horrible like so overcast so rainy yeah that sucks that sucks 
It sucks too because you're like fighting because we want the leaves, but then it's like it's raining and then every yes. time it's a rainy day, the leaves fall even more and then it's like mm-hmm. you push it and then yeah. I always like, I'm always and like, we only oh have so many days left. Like that's the thing with fall is like, it's like, okay, well we only have probably two weeks left of this and then it's all like the mm-hmm. fact that we still have color is kind of shocking. Like yeah. at this time last year, there was nothing. I know. Like I had a wedding Thanksgiving weekend last year and they were so sad because they had this like beautiful clearing and these trees and all the leaves were gone. And it was going to be like this orange gorgeous spot, but there was nothing. And that makes me sad. Like a fair bit here, but that's yeah. What can you do? I have a wedding tomorrow. And really? Oh, it's going to be beautiful. Yeah. I have two left still. Right. I keep forgetting I'm done. So I'm just like, isn't that crazy? And I feel like it's kind of rare to do like. I don't know. October, October wedding. But I'm cool with it. I think, no, I think it is too. You know, it's crazy. Yeah. It's like next year I booked a wedding. Well, it's pretty much done deal, but for yeah. Maine, like in the States. Oh, yeah. And That's I'm very so excited. Exciting. Yeah. Yes. Um, but it's for October. But also in the States yeah. too, their fall lasts longer. So that makes yes. sense. Yeah. But. Because um, Maine is in Portland, hey? No. Well, no, it's Maine. They're in the Maine, like the state of Maine. Not me in the town in Portland. I think Portland's a state, right? Oh. So they're on the no, East Coast. Oregon's a state. Yeah. So the one that, the oh. Maine that they're, they live in, the state Maine. So that is on the East Coast. It's right beside New Brunswick. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, I was thinking you were going to like Oregon. Nope. Yeah. It's the other one. That's so cool. Yeah. It's, I'm so excited. Have they're you ever sweet. been to the East Coast? No. Not even in Canada. That's so exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Ron, Ron's back. She's trying to eat my mic. Aw, cutie girl. Girly pup. <laughs> yeah, no, that is so cool. Yeah, I was, because Connor and I were trying to, he was like, Portland, Maine, like the Tim McGraw song. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's definitely two. I got confused also, but yeah, I looked it up and it's yeah. Maine. It's in a town called, like a small town in Maine, the state. Yeah. That's going to be so cool. And so like different, like not something that people really would have on their bucket list yeah like we're going to like acadia national park if you've heard of that like that's in maine oh okay so cool yeah i'm excited for you oh and then yeah mexico but yeah and you're going to mexico uh look at us go exciting but yeah we this episode wanted to talk about I guess this kind of fits into talking about our october weddings we wanted to talk about the perks of getting married at different times a year Mm -hmm. because right now I'm feeling like the not quite burnout yet but like the intensity of fall and I was just kind of thinking about how it is different having spring weddings as a photographer and having fall weddings as a photographer and I think or having winter weddings as a photographer like you're your mind is in different places but not in a bad way necessarily yeah and I think that we might also have like a different opinion on it too we'll see we'll see when we get into yeah about I know it's kind of funny but um I guess what do you want to start with like <clears throat> off-season weddings or should we finish with off-season <laughs> sorry I, Leo no I was trying here. to figure out if that was you or your dog I didn't know no he, he um, don't know what he's doing <laughs> I think he's trying to smell the cat, actually, because we just took the kennel oh, out of here. Oh, <laughs> they want you. Um, no, let's talk about, I think we should talk about, like, do it chronologically. So let's talk about what, like, like getting married in the spring, like right before anything kind of happens like that. And I feel like for wedding seasons, like spring weddings are like May and June, even though June is yes. technically summer. I feel like that's even still April spring. kind of. Well, April. maybe April for us is maybe more off season. Yeah. I don't yeah. think I've seen, like, most people start getting married in May. Like, that's when I see weddings starting. So, I don't know. So, talk about landscape. It What's it going to look like in yeah. May? Yeah. So, when we, well, I mean, yeah, when we, for uh, photographers, I guess, the first thing we think about when we're thinking about, like, the differences of what time of year is when you pick spring, you never know, like, the weather is, I feel like, is a little bit more unpredictable, because it's I feel like more rainy and stuff in the spring I've at least here I don't know about everywhere but um and then also too sometimes when you do get married in the spring you're you're gonna get like the spring like colors which which sometimes live sometimes yeah I was gonna say sometimes the trees look nice in the spring but like 
for example, here, maybe we have like a late spring and nothing's bloomed. Mm -hmm. You might have bare trees and you might get brown, which is always a risk. You never know. Mm -hmm. And like I said, the spring's unpredictable. So it could rain. It could be dry. It could be like, I think, I don't know, for me personally, I feel like if I wanted like green and like, yes, all that like beautiful, like foliage and stuff, that your first thought is spring because you're like, oh, everything's fresh and Mm -hmm. new. But really, you almost, I feel like if that's what you want, you almost wait. We got to wait a little bit longer because spring isn't necessarily what people think it is. And like when we, Jordan and I did like a trip, like we were out in Kelowna this summer, or Mm -hmm. sorry, the spring, and it was gorgeous. Like you had those like yellow flowers on the mountain and like spring out there is so cool. And everything's in bloom. It's beautiful. But like, okay, so here in the prairies or even in where you are in the mountains, you don't really get that. Like it's very, very different. So I think you have to consider that. And like June is obviously going to be a bit prettier than May yeah. sometimes, but it also totally depends on the time of year yeah. or the, the season, I guess. And like if it rained a lot that winter, if it's an early spring, if it's a late spring. Yeah. I mean, a nice thing about yeah. spring when we're talking about like wedding, spring weddings um, is usually I feel like a lot easier to find your vendors because I know for myself, even personally, yeah. I'm not really busy in the spring. And I think that's because mm-hmm. people wait till summer when 100%. it's in full swing to plan their weddings. And like, that's what they pick. But yeah. I feel like um, it'll be easier for you to find people, I think, because nothing. I think so too. Nothing is as booked, and even like, even if, like just us. If it's to us, and all the other vendors shouldn't be as booked as well. Yeah, it's not like summer where you're struggling to pick your vendors. Yeah, so that's kind of a perk. So, like maybe maybe your venue's indoors, and you really don't care that mm-hmm. what it looks like outside. Maybe that's totally. an awesome an awesome reason to pick spring. Yeah. Well, and I guess like with that, you think of, okay, so your vendors are all just coming off of their slow season. So they're fired up. They have the ideas. They're feeling creative. They're like in the groove of things. So I think that is another thing that people kind of overlook because everybody wants fall. Everybody wants summer. So in the spring, you're probably, your photographers are going to be fired up. They're going to be, they will have sat all winter having all these ideas ready to go. Like we are always so ready to freaking go in the spring. Yeah. We like counting down the days until wedding season starts again. Honestly, like you get so excited. So I think there's also um, a perk to that because you're hitting your vendors at the beginning of their season. Mm -hmm. And I guess like if you want to be a little bit more like pessimistic maybe your photographers might not be a season like I don't know but I do think that there's like a perk of being at the beginning of the season yes I agree totally yeah and along with that like we should talk about colors I think I I really want to push this more for people to like work with your season and your colors and your decor because sometimes Mm -hmm. I feel like you know people just kind of pick a color but I think it's really cool to like incorporate the season into your colors. So yeah. with spring, what do you think, Jordan, with spring? What comes see, to your mind? See, um, in my eyes, when I think of spring, yeah. I feel like I think of all the bright wildflowers, mm-hmm. all the like bright colors, yeah. um, like bright yellows, like bright greens, bright pinks, mm-hmm. all that stuff. You think of Easter, like think of all yeah. the, seed, like, the, um, the celebrations and stuff that are going on in the springtime. Like, so we think color. Yeah, technically all those colors would do great in the summer too because it's summer's yeah, bright totally. and stuff. But yeah. I think I find it more of a spring. Totally. Spring Me vibe. Yeah. yeah. It's such a trend right now too, all the colors and yeah. like the pastel trend. And I don't yeah. know, this is kind of a tangent, but one of the, like, it was like Brides, the Instagram account that was, isn't it called like Brides? I don't know. But they said the color, like the trend color right now for 2025 is this like orange, almost like terracotta, but not terracotta. Okay. But I love it. I love that color. I think it's so cool. Cause it's Me like, too. A, what, what would you say it is even? Burnt orange. Burnt orange. Do you think? I don't think it's burnt orange. It's more vibrant. Well, it's burnt. It's a warmer it's a warmer burnt orange because it still has like the burnt. I feel like it still has the burnt tone to it. But it's like a lighter. Yeah. Yeah. It's really cool. Love it. Very Oh, different. I love it. I saw that and I was like, yeah, please, yeah. everybody do this. <laughs> but it's so interesting because like last year the color was yellow. 
and I didn't really see any. I saw a lot of guests in yellow. Literally so many weddings, multiple people were wearing yellow. Really? Yes. That was like the color of guests at weddings of this year was yellow. That's I saw cool. so many. Yeah. That's cool. But um, yeah, we kind of sidetracked. But other than that, like what else, when you think of spring weddings, do you think is like a positive or a negative? I think a positive, like, and this might be a small thing, but like, you're kind of probably going to be the only, or like, not the only, sorry, but you're probably going to be the first person to have a wedding in your town or area. Like for your friends, like if they have like five weddings to go through that year, they're probably going to love yours the most because they haven't been to Uh four other weddings before yours. I think that's like almost number one to have a spring wedding. (laughs) (laughs) So if we're thinking, if we're going to be like a little bit like... No, I don't want to say the word vain, I guess, but like selfish and like you want your guests to. En- if you have the first wedding of the summer. Like- <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Like I think I think that like yeah, is a big I perk. agree. So totally. you kind of get to set the tone too for all your weddings that your friends get to go to in a year. Set so that bar. Nice. <laughs> yeah, set that bar. We are here for it. We want yeah. it. No, yeah. No, I think I have talked to so many people this year that have said how burnt out they are from weddings. Like, because, yeah, like you people, know, just regular people, you just mean, people like attending. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think when you hit the age of like 25, your people start really like getting married or getting engaged. And mm-hmm. if you are someone that likes to go to the lake in the summer, you like to have your weekends to decompress, like y- going to a wedding every weekend completely takes up your weekend. Well, I was going to say you don't get a weekend, especially if you and have if to travel. Not, yeah. And if there's not variety in the weddings too like you're so done with it yeah I think like I know how we feel like we don't really like I don't know if I'll ever be done done with weddings but Mm -hmm. when you go every single weekend like I can totally empathize with people that are just like yeah we're over it yeah Well, I mean, for us too, like we're working, we're in it a lot. Like we are a part of the wedding a lot more than a guest is. Yes. Because I feel like for guests, there's lots of downtimes for weddings. So depending on like where and what it is, Mm -hmm. like when they're waiting for you to come back to your party, maybe like if you go to so many, like that's what your all your weekends are. Like, yeah, I can see it getting old. Oh, yeah. I can see it. Yeah. And it's expensive. And yeah, no, there's so many things with that. But yeah, I think spring is really like wrapping it up it's nice because you're doing it first your vendors are ready your guests are ready to be together like yeah yeah okay new things yeah I think that's a good one summer let's talk about summer let's talk about (laughs) summer I feel like maybe this is my personal opinion I think it is Mm -hmm. but like I think summer is the best time to get married and Really? Obviously, I think a lot of people agree with that because that's why that's June why and July and August yeah. are like the most popular times to get married. Hot months, but, yeah. But I, I I, don't know. I feel like it lends itself to be like the best. Like you can be outside. You can be inside. There's yeah. things for your people to do. You have the mm. longest amount of time to take pictures because the sun sets totally. so late. Um, yeah. I could go on and on. We'll, we'll dive into all that. But <laughs> yeah. And with the summer, like you know everyone's in the mood to go to weddings like it's you're feeling good you're having like Mm -hmm. drinks outside like I don't know and sometimes I think when you have a wedding out of summer people are kind of like or maybe not as in the wedding mode if that makes sense so I think that's one thing too but yeah summer you have pretty decent weather obviously it still rains obviously you know you'd have to deal with that but like it's warm out you can be outside like you said you have options you can do tents you can do mm-hmm. venues um and that's just kind of when everyone expects you to have a wedding too people are off a lot of the time yeah it's easier to take vacation like yeah I don't know I think and you kind of like color wise you can kind of just do whatever you want for the most part like yeah, and I mean, if we're trying to match things like this, the bright colors would probably go well mm, in summer again. Totally, yeah. But also something to think about, too, is, like, complementary colors. So, like, yes. for summer, like, I think of blue and green as, like, the green. color of, like, summer because it's yeah. blue skies, green leaves everywhere. And that's, like, what, like, yeah. I would say, like, so what's the complementary color of green? can't remember. <laughs> Red, <laughs> I think. Okay, maybe let's not Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> but the complementary <laughs> color... <laughs> The complementary color to blue is orange. So oh, I thought it was yellow. No, it's orange. Is it? 
I think it's yellow. Oh, God. I could take you back to school. <laughs> yeah, Frig. We literally learned this at me. I know. No, I, I know we blue, did. I think no, I'm no, looking at... No, it's is orange. orange. Because it purple is, orange. is yellow. Okay, it's right? orange. Purple is I yellow. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. if we're talking about the Verona sunset, mm-hmm. like, and it doesn't have to be a dark totally. orange, like a fall color would be, but like a bright yeah. orange or the Verona sunset orange, like, totally. those are colors that would look, look really neat in the summer, mm-hmm. I think. But yeah. Yeah. No, I think... You can have more fun with that. And like the yellow, um, even purples, like you think of like purple flowers in the summer, like you can really do whatever you want for that. But the number one thing with getting married in the summer is you pretty much what I've found is that (laughs) if you want all your vendors, you pretty much have to get engaged and plan a wedding two years later. Yeah. Because those vendors like are booked. Yeah. If you have a very specific idea of who you want, what the vibe is, and you have a budget, mm-hmm. you those vendors book up so quick. Like yeah. people are trying to book right now for next summer and it's like I'm completely booked and it breaks my heart because I'm getting these awesome inquiries and I, I literally want to cry. <laughs> you guys can and come to me. It's I have like, a few days left. Yeah, I know. I send them. I send you. I send all my people to you. But yeah, I don't know. It's just it's frustrating for us because like we want to take them all. But once you're booked, you're booked. And like, yeah, you know, know. so you really have to plan ahead if you want that summer wedding, because it's so hard. Like even I have friends next year getting married in the summer and they're like, we cannot find a makeup artist because everyone is booked. Mm hmm. Like, and they're a year ahead, like a year from, but yeah, yeah, it's so hard to find vendors. So that's like the number one reason that it's hard to get married in the summer. And also people, everyone gets married in the summer. So your guests, Mm -hmm. maybe they are already going to a wedding or maybe it's a couple and he's like the groom's in one wedding here and you're in one wedding here. Like Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people that that's happening to next summer. So Um, I was going to say another great big like downside to summer weddings that mm-hmm. we have personally figured out multiple times. I know you know exactly what I'm about to say. I feel like, um, no, no. is the heat of summer. Oh yeah. Because. <laughs> and then some, oh, I'm my sorry, especially but the this amount, summer, this oh. last summer, me and Sarah shot like a plus 50, pretty much wedding. Like, and no wind. The, it was the thing so is, humid, smoky. Like, listen, I love summer for how beautiful and hot and like the sun's amazing. It's great. But there comes to be a point where Mm -hmm. it's not comfortable anymore. And I I just honestly feel bad because, like, all I can ask is that it's a beautiful summer day that's not too hot. And when it is too hot, like, I feel like when it's cold, you can usually get warm and then it's fine. Mm. But when it's too hot, it is so hard to get yourself cool and stay cool. Yes. And then it's just uncomfortable. And the last thing you want to do is be friendly with your man or like touch him with your nose or your you, guest hugging your guest like Ooh, i just so i gross. feel bad I because i know how i feel with the sweat dripping down my legs I, like Ugh. i am not wearing a wedding dress mm. or a suit i just feel so bad and that's yeah. the thing like usually you luck out but then there's always like one wedding a year that's always like 50 degrees yeah and you can't predict it like no no you never know when it's gonna hit and Yeah. And you really need to think about your venue when you're having a wedding like that. Jordan and I really learned this year because we did a wedding and it was the most gorgeous venue, like beautiful. But yeah, you never know when a heat wave is going to hit. And that day was like plus 40 and it was a tent. So there was nowhere to escape the heat like you and like you were stuck in it. Right. So no on way. a normal summer day, it would have been completely fine. But this was literally the hottest day of the summer. And yeah, everyone like we had to like take breaks from doing pictures because everyone was so mm-hmm. hot. And mm-hmm. like, like they had a like the bride was able to go into like the bride suite or whatever. But yeah, yeah, it definitely changes the whole day. And people like a couple years ago, I had a wedding similar thing. It was a tent wedding and the bride was just so done. By the time we did the sparkler exit, well, she was like, I'm over I was going to say besides like it just being uncomfortable it yeah. kind of does like do you know how you feel after a day out in the hot sun like on a normal All day, day when it's outside. not your wedding yeah totally. usually you feel exhausted um so like I feel like it does almost take away from what you're doing like you want to be in that yeah. moment present and it's really mm-hmm. hard to do that when and that these are factors that nobody can control we cannot control no the sun but it's just one of those things that it's it's kind of inevitable sometimes so you almost gotta like decide if you were somebody like i know (laughs) people oh 
<laughs> Hi, Roan. If she falls asleep up there, I'm going to cry. Oh. That'd be so cute. Anyways, but I know people that like they can't be in the heat and there's some people that just can't handle it if you're mm-hmm. one of those people please do not get married in the summer please no. because like it's of gonna course, ruin your day it'll be like, you'll honestly. get the you'll get the 50 plus day and uh-huh. it's gonna suck and and yeah. that's just like as much as like beautiful and like as much as summer weddings are beautiful and all the rest mm-hmm. of it that's that's just there's not getting it's not around worth it. it no yeah no and that's the thing you never know when it's gonna happen but I think like if you're going to do a summer wedding and you know you're someone who doesn't do well in the heat just make sure you have a reception venue with AC like end of story that's like the number one thing if mm-hmm. you're like I'm getting married in the summer and just and like keep a ceremony as short as you can that's important too because mm-hmm. like your guests are sitting out there in the yeah. open like probably no shade because we don't want shade as photographers for a ceremony and no. yeah that's like the, one of the biggest things summer is a hard one like it's when everyone gets married but there's so many things that like you know can happen also too i feel like this is summer but sometimes there's places that like and then this also is so dependent on like the year too but like i know here like if usually june is like the month for like thunderstorms i feel mm-hmm. like like i feel spring, like july yeah. i feel like july and so this is like i guess late spring summer beginning of summer but like i feel like july and august they're not as common like we'll still get them but i feel like yeah. june for sure there's yeah. also a lot of thunderstorms, so it's just like stuff like that. Also, you can't predict mm-hmm. it. It's just as well no, those totally. things. Well, you can still this. have thunderstorms in the fall. Like we've had yeah. such a rainy fall, so mm-hmm. yeah, it totally, it totally depends. But summer, we all love it. But yeah, those hot days really get you. Yeah, and you can oh just God, see yeah. people fading. Like that's the thing. Like a lot of like you're not really eating a lot on a wedding day, as we always say, and you're drinking and like the heat. And mm-hmm. I've, I've had so many brides and grooms say that they end up with heat stroke from their wedding days because you know you're not looking after yourself like you like would on a normal day right so oh my god yeah craziness i had one super hot day here and they all jumped in the river full oh that's so funny yeah i was like i want to be in here just had to yeah i got in there too (laughs) like yeah yeah okay all All right joys let's talk about fall every photographer's favorite time of year for weddings i feel like Oh yeah, I feel I like. Think, you, I think I think it's a favorite that? for sure. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah. So there's. I feel like we could talk about fall. Like, are there so many different parts that like that's? I think there's so many different parts about fall that make people love it, love it the most. Yeah. Um. So fall, I feel like is almost like summer, where it's also really hard. I feel like to book. I feel like maybe not as not as busy as like the summer. Yeah, for finding vendors, I guess. But I think like fall is also very like in demand. I feel like it would be harder than spring. If you're looking at what would be busier fall or spring, fall 1000%. Yeah, exactly. Because every photographer is doing a million bajillion family sessions. Well, I was going to say, I was going to say it's not even fall photos. (laughs) Yeah, I was going to say it's not even just weddings, but like your photographer in the fall like in the summertime, yes, we have summer sessions, but it's a lot less common because I feel like people are on vacation and they're doing summer yeah. things. So yeah. I feel like the time of year for family photos is usually fall. So uh-huh. usually we're shooting every night. Like this yeah. last week that just happened, I had to shoot every night except for last night. Yeah. And I have a shoot tonight. And then like, and that's just the way it is. But if you're uh-huh. thinking about that, so your photographer usually in the summer would have like one or two shoots a week and then your wedding yeah. on Saturday. In yeah. the fall. So you have the whole week pretty much to work and in the fall let's just be mindful that most of your photographers are shooting every single night and then going to your Mm -hmm. wedding on saturday and then doing it the whole the whole next week after that yeah so it's definitely a lot busier in terms of Mm -hmm. that not just weddings yeah um and i think that maybe like having a busy photographer can be a good thing but also can be a bad thing like it's totally i think it depends because it depends on the person i know myself like I thrive in chaos. Yeah. Uh, yeah <laughs> and I same. think most, <laughs> listen, I think most of us do because like the, yeah. it's just, that's kind of the industry. Yeah. But like when it's busy for me, like right now, like if I had weddings in the weekend, I feel like I'd be even better than the rest mm. of the year because I'm yeah. literally just in like, it's like I'm in game mode. mode. Like I'm in yeah. game, like I'm in the zone. I'm like ready to and knock it And you're so in it. 
Like yeah. right now, I'm like, all I can think about, like, I can't not be working because I feel on edge because I'm like, oh, I have this many sessions to be editing right now. So like, you're just in the mode of like, you just have mm-hmm. to get through it. So mm-hmm. I think being in the groove, it's like second nature to be shooting, to be working, to be doing weddings. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I think some people, if you take on way too much, they just get burnt out. Yeah, you definitely like, need so to know. It's out. it's something that um, as photographers, like I feel like it's a very important thing to learn, like what you yes. thrive in, because yeah, it's it's a very sticky slope or s- slippery it's, slope. <laughs> it is a very slippery slope because <laughs> like. B- you book two extra sessions you could ruin mm-hmm. your whole fall and mm-hmm. that's like not even me trying to be dramatic but like no it's so true. there's a threshold you need to fi- that's almost yeah. like something that you should figure out if you can I know like some people yeah. can't figure it out until they're too busy and they're like oh that was too much but like and I feel like that's how we both have figured it out though like yeah I have had seasons where yeah I was fried I was mm-hmm. burnt I was crispy yeah, I know. like I was done so yeah. freaking done and this year I'm like okay I'm actually like last weekend I took not the entire day but like most of Saturday because I had a Saturday off for the first time in so yeah. long and I went shopping with my friends and Good. we had a movie night even though we all worked and edited yeah. while yeah. we were watching movies but I actually took time for a day and not didn't work and that like mm-hmm. it literally changed my life like taking one day mm-hmm. kind of so like I don't know you can't do it too much because then you're gonna get more anxious but I think allowing and forcing like I literally had to force myself to go shopping that day with them mm-hmm. so I think that can yeah. really help yeah but, and then but it's so, like you don't really know that as a client hiring a photographer that's the thing but no and I I think a lot of like at least for my clients every like even if sh- like they know how busy I am and they can respect yeah. it, but it's nice to know that your photographer is a little bit busy sometimes because mm-hmm. obviously that's a good sign because people are, sign. want them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just being mindful about that and is I nice to know, but a way to kind of figure that out too, as a, as a bride seeking a photographer is someone that has been in it for a few years. You know, yeah. like not to hype us up, but I, <laughs> <laughs> yes, like, hype okay, us up. We, yeah, we know what we can take. We like, I had to decline so many sessions this year just because I'm like, if I take any more, I'm going to be burnt out and mm-hmm. I literally have no time to take more sessions. So yeah, no, exactly. I think just having that, I don't know, what would you call it? Being able to say no to is really a strong thing yeah. to have yeah um, one thing uh, that we kind of forgot to mention is when you're considering spring or fall I know this for so many photographers is we're kind of spilling an industry secret but you're more likely to get your stuff sooner in the spring than in the fall yes. and that's like just an overall <laughs> yeah I think people can kind of assume that Yes. Because when your photographer does their first wedding, they're pumped about it. They're editing. They're getting you your sneak peeks the next day. They don't have anybody else's they don't have wedding to anything edit. Anything in their in their log. Like they don't have a list ten feet long of shoots <laughs> to edit. So Literally. you're probably gonna get your gallery a little sooner. In the yes, fall. Exactly. Yeah. It is going to take more time because not only are they shooting weddings, but they're also shooting a million family shoots. Mm-hmm. So that's like a thing. If you're someone who can't wait to get their pictures, maybe you should do a spring because <laughs> you'll probably get them sooner. Than that's actually if, hilarious. Is no, it not you're true not, though? You're like not wrong. Yeah. Usually actually I was thinking about what, what my, my first wedding this summer or this yeah. spring. And yeah, she got it like two weeks or three weeks before they were due. Oh yeah. And then the rest of my weddings, they're, they're getting them like on, on the due time. date. Yeah, yeah, totally. Because yeah. you have so much on your to-do list. It's yeah, it's like anything though, right? But Now let's talk about, um, so we talked about your photographers in the fall. Let's talk yeah. about um, kind of like the landscape and the look of fall and mm. like the weather and all that kind yeah. of stuff. Because this is one of my favorite things to talk about because a lot of people like they, I feel like people know this, but they don't like put it together. So I want to talk about this first. But lighting in the fall for photographers is 100,000 times better than Mm -hmm. any I guess spring would be good because it's similar but I feel like fall fall lighting fall lighting is 1,000 times better I feel like than any other season because the way the sun is in the fall it's lower on the horizon 
because mm-hmm. of the season and it sets early, which means yes, which is so you nice. have <laughs> an earlier golden hour, which mm-hmm. means, so if we're thinking about a timeline and usually our ceremonies at two, so then you do family photos until three and then bridal party photos, photos are like what, three to four, whatever. And then four to four to six or four to five or like in anywhere kind of around that is when you would do your portraits. And mm-hmm. in the fall, like this time of year, like the sun is starting to set so early like yeah. six o'clock, seven o'clock, that you almost get golden hour for your portraits, which is not possible unless you sneak out for sunset in the mm-hmm. summer. Yeah, so if totally. you're somebody that like loves golden hour, loves that kind of light, um, yeah. the fall is really nice for that because you technically get golden hour for, for your longer. portraits in the middle yeah. of the day. Totally. Like right now, golden hour here kind of starts at four. And yeah. it depends. The thing with fall too is I've noticed this fall, it, quite often it's overcast yeah if it gets under like, the clouds then you're done yes. yeah you don't have a sunset but that's why like okay like right now technically kind of looks like golden hour because the way the sun is coming in because there's it's, so many clouds out right now well and so the lighting because, is beautiful right now and because the way like because like I, how i said like the sun in the horizon's lower in the fall because mm-hmm. it's because it's not as high in the summer like i don't yeah. know the like geo like i don't, don't i was not good at like all this <laughs> the, kind of stuff the technical in yeah i don't know the technical like ways of saying this but yeah the sun yeah. is like instead of this is how it got like in the summer i think it's like it goes really high up in the horizon mm-hmm. in the fall it kind of stays like here yeah so even if it's two o'clock in the afternoon Instead of the sun being on top of you like it is in the summer, it's here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's why it kind of looks like golden hour. Yeah. So even your full day can kind of give golden hour vibes because of like just where the sun is, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. And that's why we love it, I feel like. And as well as obviously the orange leaves are always cool. It's like Mm -hmm. a nice pop of color and it's so warm. And And in different places, you have different colors too. Kelowna, Mm -hmm. anywhere in BC in the fall is just next level because you have reds, you have yellows, you have Mm -hmm. orange. Like Mm -hmm. it's not in Saskatchewan. We have orange and brown, like light brown and brown. Yeah. Yeah. And then you have like the trees that don't change whatever. But like here, unless people purposely put in fancy trees, if you go out in the country, everything's just orange. Yeah. But if you go to other places, you get more colors. So there's more colors to fall. If you do that, then yeah. Yeah. Another nice thing about fall weather is that it's not astronomically hot like like uh-huh. summer. Unless you yeah. get like a freak weekend. Like I know there was a wedding I shot like September long sometimes can be really beautiful. Like it can yeah, be summer. Yeah. Um but it's nice. You're dressed up. You're wearing a huge dress full of layers. Uh-huh. You're wearing yeah. a full piece suit. All your girls are dressed up. Everybody's usually dressed up and it's kind of nice to not have it blaring hot. So that's really mm-hmm. a nice part about yeah. fall weddings. Totally. Like I found no one's like yeah. too hot. No one, yeah. if you're too cold, you just go and dance for a little bit and then you get warm. Like, yeah, or you get a cute jacket. Like, I don't know. It's, I think the best weather is in the fall. Spring can be nice too, obviously, but like, I feel like spring sometimes just goes from like snow till to hot. Like, there's hardly like an in between. It's just like one extreme to the next, but in fall, you kind of get that like kind of crisp mm-hmm. air mm-hmm. and it's oh just my god, don't get a me light started. Jacket. Don't get me started on the way the air smells in the fall because I oh, am gonna pass out thinking I about know. it. The fall is literally yeah. the best season. We yeah. are photographers, so we're obligated to say that. But <laughs> yeah, sponsored true. by Mother Nature. No, I'm yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I guess one of my pet peeves with fall. Yeah, we should talk about some pet peeves. Is picking your colors. I think sometimes there's interesting choices and sometimes people don't like totally think. And it really doesn't matter if you're not that like worried about it. But as photographers, we love when people incorporate the season into their colors. So when you're doing a fall wedding, we think black, we think brown, we think cream, we think orange we think red we think you know Mm -hmm. maybe Mm -hmm. not purple maybe not pink maybe not i don't know what else what what, what would not go yellow maybe yeah yellow would be okay for fall you think so yeah maybe not all yellow but like if it it depends where you're getting married maybe Maybe i would honestly much maybe a dark yellow Mm, like a mustard yeah yeah (laughs) i think that's a hot topic but like yeah. If you're getting pictures in front of orange trees and that's your background, maybe think about 
the colors. Yes. Is that bad to say? No, I don't think it's bad to say. Okay. Yeah. Another thing I want to talk about while we're – this is off topic because you just brought that up. But um, I like the fall leaves and fall colors are beautiful. But mm. can we talk about – the risk that you take with fall because one day there can be leaves and the next day they're all gone. They're all gone. And you yep. have to be like a little bit prepared mm-hmm. for maybe having bare trees for your wedding. Yes. Um, and I think you cannot control that. No, because like, it's crazy. Like last fall, I feel like the leaves fell really quick. They did. This fall, yeah. they're still on the trees here at least. Mm-hmm. And it's like, we're halfway through October, which is, wild because i feel like there is there's definitely spots where they're all gone but like there's spots here that they're still like full in the trees and i'm just like totally you get one windstorm and they're gone they're gone and you really i was talking to a client we were doing the shoot and she said that like so we had a later like the the colors came later this year because we had Mm -hmm. so much water or something in august they said Mm. so then it caused the leaves to hold on so like usually at my birthday is september 23rd the leaves are like fully in color like I always yes. say that's the best time of year for like orange is like yeah. on my birthday but yeah. this year on my birthday there was hardly any orange yeah it, so was, it was very later. late I noticed yes. that yes yeah so like and right now they're still holding on and this girl said that it's because there's so much moisture in the in that the makes ground. sense yeah but I don't know really it, I didn't think that there was moisture in the ground but I could be wrong. No, that makes sense, though. Yeah. I do get that. So maybe that's why they're holding on. But literally, we have no control over that. So if you're relying on the orange, but all honestly, hot take, this year, I've been less into the orange. I like just the the landscape of like the kind of soft grass that's not green anymore. Like, I don't think you have to, like, fall doesn't have to be like, we're standing in front of an orange bush. It can be... Look at this landscape with a little bit of orange, a little bit of green, a little bit of yellow. That's what I like personally, but... I was going to say, hot take, I kind of love bare trees. Me too. So, it but depends. I know... No, Sometimes it does. No, it does yeah. depend. And I think too, the way you shoot, because I like do, I like shooting like portraits with bare trees behind me blurred out with like my shutter my f my yes. f-stop really low but if you're somebody that shoots with your f-stop a little higher like kind of more um it editorial doesn't it doesn't yeah. look as good i mean it's definitely the way you shoot and the time of totally. day and all that stuff yeah. but um well yeah and time of day lighting it all plays a factor but yeah. i think you know don't you don't need to rely completely on that orange because fall is so much more than just mm-hmm. the leaves and then I one other thing that could take. be a downside for some people is if you are somebody that really wants like gold to sneak away for golden hour photos at 8 30 uh-huh. 9 o'clock that's not going to happen for you in the fall because the sun is no. already down unless you're yeah. doing like funky flash photos in the dark yeah that's cool we're a fan totally. yeah. um but that's definitely like the thing with fall is like it sets so early Mm -hmm. Um, your portraits are going to be more golden hour. So maybe you're fine with not sneaking away for golden hour because you get that look during your portraits. But just be mindful that it's not really going to be possible for you. Yeah. Like this summer or sorry, this fall, I had a wedding in September and like in the questionnaire, she was like, no, we want to go for sunset photos. But what happened was at, it was like middle of September, kind of end of September. Mm -hmm. Sunset was at like seven o'clock and everyone Mm -hmm. was still eating. So when Mm -hmm. we went to go, we had... Like I said, like, do you guys want to sneak out? Like we only have like 10 minutes left and the sun's going to be gone. They were like, it's pretty much gone. We're fine. So yeah. I think you, if you really, really, really want those sunset photos, you have to like really plan it into your schedule. Yeah. 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 Totally. Okay. But fall overall, big fans, big fans. Okay. Yeah. Let's get into this winter weddings. Yep. So how many, I've only <laughs> shot, I've literally, Sarah, this is like hilarious, but I've literally shot two winter weddings in my whole career. Really? The one I did here and the one I shot with you. With me. Okay. I feel like I've done probably, I feel like maybe 10 or more. I don't See, know See, I've only done two. Yeah. Maybe I think people here, like I've done two New Year's Eve weddings mm. and then I did a New Year's Eve Eve wedding. Yeah. And then I did that one with you. Mm-hmm. Which I one with me? Oh, the one I shot with you. Yeah. Yeah. It was like right before COVID. Yeah. So it would have been like, oh, no, they did it on February 29th. It was the leap year wedding. Mm, right. 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 Yeah. Yes, I do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they winter weddings. Where do, where do we begin? 
Just I think start number with, one. Let's start with the good things and then yes. we'll bring out the bad things. Okay. Number one for winter wedding is you can pick whoever the frig you want for vendors. For yeah, the most you part. should be safe. Yes. Unless you're doing New Year's Eve, that's become super popular. But I think for the most part, like you can really pick because everyone is on off season. I totally agree with you. So I, yeah, I think that's like the biggest, biggest thing. Secondly, winter Secondly. is very beautiful. Mm. So you are bound to get really like magical, beautiful, snowy photos. Yeah. Um, and the golden hour honestly is really, really nice in the winter. It's, it's almost literally perfect. Yeah. It's almost more beautiful than fall because it's even earlier. And mm-hmm. most you of your all photos the are golden hour. off the snow. Yes. And, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I mean, if you are winter people and like you love winter and like you're down to do it, I think you are like winter weddings do make beautiful wedding photos. Mm-hmm. They're very romantic. Oh, yeah, totally. If yeah. you get a fresh snowfall the night before, oh, it's just beautiful. Every single person that has a winter wedding is like, We just hope that there's frost. We hope we get fresh snow. (laughs) Yeah, I know. I'm also hoping that for you. Yeah. Um, Um, And it's off season with vendors, but also for your people. So if you Mm -hmm. get married in December or January, February, March, you know, everyone is probably not doing anything. People on the weekends are just hanging out like no one's going to the lake. People are less busy and they are ready probably to go to a wedding, go to an mm-hmm. event, get dressed mm-hmm. up. Mm-hmm. So I think winter weddings, like you're going to have a bigger turnaround for people. I think your guest count will be way higher because yeah. everyone's just going to be ready to go do something. Yeah. And um, what else? What else is this like a positive? I don't want to get into the tea yet of like the bad stuff. Um, but. Vendors, people. I think you can do funky things with colors in the winter. Actually, you like, pretty much can because it's like white is like your background. So really, you could go crazy with anything. Totally. Um, and you kind of obviously have to be more creative with your venue location. I think mm-hmm. if you could find like one of those greenhouse venues that, that if, I don't know if it would be mm-hmm. possible to be heated, but how gorgeous would that be in the winter? Yeah. Like I think you could do something and you need to have an indoor ceremony location. So you have to be more creative with that, but mm-hmm. there's some really beautiful churches you can do. There's, you know, cool venues, but yes. Yeah. And then you're definitely, so the nice thing about winter, you're definitely not going to be too hot. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> while I say this, there is a possibility you may be a little cold. Mm-hmm. Um, so I feel like we need to talk, <laughs> we need to talk about this a little bit because yeah. Obviously, people realize that it's winter and they're going to be cold, but I don't think people fully realize the downsides of winter photo shoots because I think there's a, there's a few things that, are t- for me, that pop into my head. So the first one is being cold. So other than being uncomfortable and being cold, because that's like the first thing, like no one likes to be cold. No one likes to be uncomfortable. Um, so that's one thing. I mean, some people luck out and they get like a really nice day and then it's like not that bad, but if you're one of those people, like I, the one winter wedding I had, and then the one with you were both cold days. They were like snowstorm. I think mine was minus 40. Yeah. Like for real. And then yours was a snowstorm. So the wind makes it feel that, that cold as well. So being cold obviously is not a good time for pictures when you're cold. It's a lot harder. Like this is just like, this is just part of it. And there's not a whole lot that like we can do to control this but we do our best but um it's just honestly human nature like when you're cold what do you do you usually like crouch in you don't look as comfortable you're not as happy because you're cold your face will show it your teeth will be chattering a little bit like there's a lot of things that like unconsciously we do when we're cold that lend a little bit not great for photos because obviously like we pick up when you're when you're hunched a little bit and it's things that like your body just does. It's not like you tell, like your body will just react to the cold in that way. So for photos, sometimes if you're thinking about that, like people might look a little bit more posed and a little bit more stiff. They're not going to be as comfortable as they would in summer photos. And that's just like part of it. That's just part of it. Secondly, tell me if I'm wrong, but this is, this is my opinion. I feel like posing is a lot harder in the winter. And when I say that, when I say that, I mean, 
So in the summertime, you can like say, okay, like run through the grass with each other, hold your hands, pick her up, do a cute spin, right? Easy peasy. In the wintertime, you have to rely on what's plowed (laughs) unless you're ready to trek through this much snow. Like, do you know what I mean? So if you're not adventurous and you don't want to go in the snow and get your dress all wet and get your shoes all wet, um, you really have to use only a few like spots for pictures because that's what's plowed or what's shoveled. And you can't really, you don't really have the freedom to run through the snow, pick each other up because it's, you know what, if you run, if you try to run through the snow, like if it's deep enough, it hard, it's hard. <laughs> It's hard to run through the snow, especially when you're in a full suit or a full wedding dress and you're trying to be cute and not cold. Like there's so many and so sitting many on things. the ground. You can't do other poses like you really yes. can only stand like it's. Yeah. And I don't know it sometimes unless you have like a beautiful golden hour. It's sometimes if it's like a kind of warmer winter and you have a little bit of snow and every like the snow's brown it it can be hard too that's also another thing too yeah like if you if you don't get that fresh snowfall Mm -hmm. um you're like probably gonna get like some bare trees um and there'll be like little clumps of dirt in the back of your like lots of I feel like a lot of us (laughs) will photoshop it a little bit but yeah like there's only so much we can do hard yeah 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 well and I think Obviously, a way to get around that would be picking a venue where you can mostly be inside, but Mm -hmm. that's not always an option for people, too. So I don't know. I think winter weddings, you just have to be okay with that. And that's the thing. People, when they do do winter weddings, they are beautiful. I love them. Um, And there's definitely the type of people for it. Like if you're the type of people that like want to run through the snow and throw snowballs at each other and be all cute and fun. Sure. Like I think... That would, it's beautiful. And like, totally. as long as your photographer's also game, cause like, I know I would yeah. run through the snow with them for that because it's really fun. Yeah. Um, but that's also, also a thing. I guess the other option too is go to Mexico in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> that's always a good, that's, that's, that's one way one. to make sure it's really nice out. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you've done lots of winter weddings. They've just been like destination. Hey, I said, you've been, um, you've done lots of winter weddings. They've just been destination. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Cause the yeah. one was in November. So that's technically winter. Yeah. Yeah. And March. So that's winter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's, that's probably the best way to do a winter wedding. Honestly. I love it. My, my, <laughs> my couples know what I want. <laughs> yeah, literally. But I yeah, know. I don't know why I've done quite a few. It's kind of random. See, but. I think here, like we don't do them because there's really no venues that would be mm. good for a winter wedding. And I think if yeah. we did have venues, that would be a whole different story, but totally. Cause you need like a nice ceremony spot. And for the majority of our clients they get married mm-hmm. in fields or like pretty grassed areas and mm-hmm. you can't do that really in the winter no Some no people you can't. do but yeah, yeah no um yeah I think overall there's obviously perks of every season yeah. and like things that you you know do have to think about but I think overall, it sounded like spring was our best season. Like, that was spring. the one with the least. Don't you think that was the one with the least amount of downsides? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I am a spring hater. I'm going to leave end this episode <laughs> with a that. spring little... hater? No. And I'll tell you. <laughs> I will tell you why. I think if I lived in Kelowna, I would love spring because the flowers yes. bloom and the yeah. trees bloom. Totally. But here, like, and it's just where I live. But here spring hits and it's literally mud everywhere and Mm -hmm. I just I just I just can't I'm not a mud girl okay I I (laughs) no I feel you I I don't like I would love spring if it was in a different Mm -hmm. spot I think it's literally just where I am there's nothing about it and then summer hits and I'm like happy again but yeah totally yeah no I'm with you on that like I think it is a lot harder in the spring to find super nice but Mm -hmm. I will be getting married in the fall at some point in my life <laughs> that is my season I would say that would be my favorite yeah overall I think so too season is fall and I also you, think fall, fall is too. our season because we're both Libras so if we're fall <sighs> girls we're just destined to be fall girls fall girlies for life <laughs> yeah yeah I agree all the all the good vibes are in the fall like especially out in Kelowna Kelowna mm-hmm. fall is just like next level yeah so epic yeah I need to go there next fall maybe Oh, yeah, hopefully. (laughs) L-O-L. 
But yeah, yeah, that's kind of our recap on seasons. I think we're kind of feeling this season right now, obviously. So we, it kind of worked out to be a perfect episode for today. I like it. I think people, yeah. um, it's nice to hear the breakdown. Like we, it's for, totally. this is the thing I feel like for us, it's like in there and stuck in our brains. Yeah. Um, I feel like when I talk about this with other people, I'm like bringing up the way the sun sets differently in the fall and they're like, oh my God, I've never like, thought about that. Exactly. Yeah. So this is just like a nice little, I don't know, some totally. tidbits of information from our heads. Yeah. And something that people I don't really think about, well, they obviously think about it, but like they would be like, oh, I didn't know that was a thing in the spring or like the Mm -hmm. fact that you might get your photos sooner in the spring over the fall. Like, I don't know if everyone totally thinks of that, especially the vendors. I think that's Mm -hmm. the number one thing when you think of like what season you're getting married in. Yeah. Yeah. Like timeline wise, you could probably get married in the spring and the fall and the winter within a year In the summer. It's a lot harder. Oh my God. Yeah. You need yeah, a longer totally engagement. Is. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. But yeah, that's kind of our recap for Yay. this episode. I love it. Yeah. Thank you guys for Please. listening. And hopefully we gave you some insight on our seasons. Yeah. I, I'm sure yeah. we did. I learned hopefully. stuff. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Well, yeah, we will see you guys next week. Thank you for listening. Peace and out. Bye. Bye.